Okay, so I just want to quickly run through the wrist drill. Um, obviously for bowling, I'll start with, uh, with the seam wrist, uh, wrist drill and then we'll move on to, on to the different spin, spin techniques. Okay, ultimately a seamer wants to keep the ball or the seam upright for as long as possible. That's going to give them swing and obviously see movement off the pitch. Okay, and, and, and the way we do that is by keeping our wrist nice and straight and strong. All right, so through the delivery, our wrist is working, but it's working straight. If it collapses, it's going to cause a wobble on the ball. Obviously, there's certain balls that you can bowl with your wrist collapsing, but here we're trying to work on getting your wrist to work nice and straight and be strong. You want your wrist behind the ball. It obviously will help the seam to stay upright to give you that swing and bounce, but it also gives you, gives you more speed and, and obviously accuracy. Okay, and it's a very simple drill. Okay, all you're going to do is you're going to obviously make sure that your, your child's holding the ball correctly first. We're not going to try ball in swingers, out swingers. We're keeping the fingers straight down the seam, thumb on the seam, okay, um, your, your ring finger on the side of the ball. First of all, all you're going to do is get them to hold it. They can hold their arm, and you want that wrist to work nice and straight, and just get them to flick the ball up in the air like that and catch it and try and get that seam to stay in a straight line as possible. Okay, get them to do that. They can do that for hours. They can do it while they're talking to you at home or sitting on the couch watching TV or whatever they're doing. Okay, so you can spend hours doing this. Okay, you see, as soon as I, my, my wrist went wrong there, the ball moved. Okay, so you're concentrating on doing that. Okay, careful that their arm, their hands not going to the side or their fingers not going to the side. You want that wrist nice and straight, fingers straight down the seam. Okay, once they've done that and they're getting it, you know, consistently where this where the seam is pretty straight. Okay, you can then get them to either throw against a wall or if you've got a net or anything really, just something that will stop the ball, get them to stand, um, give themselves a little bit of space so if they are, they do get quite a zip out of their wrist, it doesn't bounce back and whack them on the knee. Okay, this, you're going to, when they're going overhand now, obviously you're wanting that wrist nice and straight with the arm as straight as possible, get their arm out, get the wrist up. Remember, this is getting the wrist to work. We're not worrying about straight arm, bent arm, we're working on the wrist getting the wrist behind the ball so that the seam stays upright, okay? And all they're going to do is get them, just get them to stand in front of that net or the wall and get them to roll their wrist over the ball, okay? And you want them to try and get that seam to stay upright the whole way, okay? If you can video it, even better, because then they can watch and they can see. But they will know, as I can see from here, whether I've done it correctly or the ball's wobbling. And the minute the ball starts to wobble, it means my wrist isn't straight, okay? Get them to do it for as much as they can, okay, and just get them to work that wrist, okay. It's hot, as, as in the beginning, they obviously you're going to try and get them not to do it too hard, okay, because you want them to control that wrist, okay. And as the wrist gets stronger, they can go faster and faster, okay. But the point is to get that seam to stay upright for as and, and with, with as little wobble as possible, okay. And that's pretty much the wrist drill. <laughs> Okay, and you want that seam to try and stay upright for as long as possible. You get them to do this as many times as they can. You want to get it up for as long as possible so we get a nice height. We're not getting it over, we're keeping ourselves nice and straight. So keeping the heads up nice and straight, the front arm is... Good. It's not a very difficult thing to do. Um, you want to be in a net. If you don't have a net, you can get up an area in the, in the field. 